And we're back for episode 3 of our Mars Warlog walkthrough. And we have to get the gun back to Joe. I brought you the gun. Here we go. See anything down there? Any trace of the others? Yeah, they were up there. Sorry, but it's kind of dark down there, and we were under pressure. The bugs were everywhere, so no, I didn't see anything. Shit. Huh. Think we're gonna have to send out a patrol. We can't leave those guys lying around in the tunnels. Too bad about the reward. Come on, get out of here. I still can't get over the state of those guys that came back up a while back. At me. <laughs> you gotta ask yourself if they really know what they're doing in recruitment. Gain access to the drilling room. Briefing the poor bastards who get sent to us. Right, so where, where are we going? Okay, I'm gonna load your tent then, alright. Let's we'll take your stuff. That's in fair. See you later, chaps. Right, um, where are we going? I really don't know where we're going. Right It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, I'll help you. Oh shit. Kill his children. Down, son. Man, I can kill a good dog like that. Holy shit, what is wrong with them? That's the second I've seen attack for no reason. We already had to kill one near the sand pit. And I had to put down two more in the kennel. God damn. You examine the The one that attacked me earlier had filming eyes, just like this one. And I've never seen those kind of patches on a dog. Me neither, but I also noticed those patches on the animals I had to put down. I'll check the other dogs, but it's kind of worrying. It looks like they caught something. Sure thing. Right, upgrades. Shit, wait, it's K, it's K for skills. Well, kills, skills, 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 whatever. Rank amateur at combat needed. Ah, okay. Allows to parry any attacks coming from any side. That's actually relatively okay. Oh, cool. Right, what's this? Electrical damage reduction. Damage on armed attacks. Extends the timing for counter attacking. Plus 5 damage on guard brick attacks. Hmm. What's this? Uh, health injections give plus 5 more health per second. That's pretty good. Um, foes are less likely to dodge sand. Right. But search. Infect disease affecting the dogs. What do you think I am? Dog master. Yeah, right there, yeah, that's his job. He's trying to do it to my game. Come on, I can't do it for another round here. Come on, guys, don't die. Slip Nothing to do there right now. You just get me in a heap of shit.
What can I do for you, prisoner? Looking for sick dogs. I'm guessing you heard about what's happening with the dogs. They look sick, and I don't know if there's a doctor around here. We got a male nurse, of course. Well, he could be a doctor, as far as I know. He's at the sand bath just now. Some of the new arrivals seem a bit ripe. Ah, didn't think of him. Thanks. Thank you. To the mess, to the mess, to the mess. Camp 19. A serious problem with the dogs. They're all going crazy and attacking anything that moves. Ah, I have the feeling there'll soon be more visits to the infirmary. And if people can get it, it could get serious. It's contagious? You sure we can get it? I well, can't be sure. We have to check the animals, find out what they have. I don't have the equipment to do that kind of thing here. But I'm certain of one thing. And that's that we can't take their risk. I'm afraid the dogs will have to be put down. <laughs> I'd rather find a cure. If it's possible to find a cure, I'd really prefer giving it a shot. Animal lover, <laughs> huh? Well, in that case, I can't help you. Find a vet. Well, that's me too. Wait, find a vet in area. Right, well, that's gonna be the most impossible task possible. the fuck you meant to find a vet? Oh wait, is that in the mess hall? Oh, we could be onto something here. They could be going the wrong way here. had the chance to talk. I heard about the fat guy. Takes balls, I gotta say. Apparently the guy pissed himself. I'm Jay. Jay. And if I can do anything for you... I'm Roy. I was looking for some info. Actually, I just wanted some information. I knew it. I knew it. Come on, give, man. Tell me about the guards. You know the guards here? Of course. I'm one of those who has been here the longest. I was a scout and got caught at the start of the war. You know, in the end, they're just like us. They're the good guys and they're the assholes. Bob's a great guy, for example, but you already know that, right? Meow, yeah, he's not like the others. The rest of them really play by the book. Abundance has these ideas. Oh, don't try and tell me you prefer Aurora's bullshit. Or you wouldn't be called Roy, right? <laughs> And they're scared shitless of their Technomancer. They obey, yeah. Maybe more than us, too. Gotta say, their system's pretty strict. And they're scared shitless you of their just Technomancer. Said that. He's called Sean. Not the most laid back guy in the world, but what do you expect from a Technomancer, huh? You're not kidding. You 
good with weapons. Know your way around weapons? Like all of us, I guess. I was only a scout, though, but I had one, you know? Even if it's not my specialty. So what's your specialty? I get what I need to start off with. I make some things, collect others. I know where to find stuff, who to trade with, including for services. And also, for information, buddy. That's what you're here for, right? You could say that. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for that one. That's it for now. Thanks for the tip. Right. So, it's exactly here, apparently. Or maybe I'll just ask about the lunch place. Anyone for talking to? Come on. Anyone? I'll take anyone. Oh, wait. Maybe. Maybe we'll check. So, the power plant? I got them to think I'm a hotshot, <laughs> so they let me walk around pretty much everywhere. I found a transformer. Apparently, that's where you can deactivate the train's protective devices. All right. Thanks to you, we should be able to pull off this escape when the time comes. All we have to do is get into the power plant. Uh, thanks. I, I tried my best. <laughs> Would be better if you. Succeeded. You did the job. But it should come with me now. We got lots of things to do if we want to pull this escape off. I'll do my best to help you. We have to pick up the weapons oh, I stashed, level get up. some water, and get the mutants to revolt. The mutants? What for? It'll be a great diversion. So, if you're ready, let's go. Right, so, ask about the rebel mutant at the recruitment office. Experience gained. I'll, I'll use them later. Level 6. Hoping to be 30 by the end of the walkthrough, that's what I'm talking about. Mm hmm. Right, let's, let's open this up. Right, uh, there we go. That's the one, that's the one. What can I do for you, prisoner? Right. Uh,. But the mutants are looking for. If I understood right, a mutant attacked a guard. What happened? Just a mutant going a bit haywire. Maybe he got the dog sickness. Who knows? He hit a guard and he's been hiding since. Our technomancer didn't like that too much. He said whichever of us nails him will get a promotion. Uh -huh. And it wouldn't be a good idea for the other skin jobs to hide him. I know our technomancer. He said he'd kill ten if we didn't find the guy. And he'll do it. Seems a bit drastic, don't you think? Better off not having a riot. I'm gonna take a look at the dust, in case I happen to find that smart ass of yours. Don't particularly want to find myself in the middle of a new war. Yeah, you do uh. that. Uh, but if you find him, don't try anything. Come back and talk to me first. Um, uh, you got any work for me? I'm kind of bored. You got any work for me? Huh? You can hear the mechanic bitching from here. Guess he might be needing a hand. Find parts or something like that. Yeah, uh, I'm actually looking for parts for him. In that case, get to work instead of telling me you're <laughs> bored. I can't take any more of this complaining all day long. All right, all right. Thanks for the tip. Sick dog. Actually, I need a veterinarian. Got any ideas? Well, there's dark food. He was a vet. One of yours before the war. Don't know if he'd want to heal his enemy's guard dogs, though. Personally, I'd tell him to fuck off. Uh -huh. Where can I find him? Why do you think he's called Doc Food? Oh, in the kitchen. Right. Okay. I'll go look for him there. All right. Ask about the rebel mutant at the recruitment office. Right. Why do I have the feeling that there are better uses for a rebel mutant than turning him into the guard? Here, it's almost ready to bite. Come on, don't look me in the eye. Drop your eyes, or you'll get it. <laughs> Easier to train than a dog. 
Yeah, but lots more disgusting. Rather have a dog by far. What's going on here? Hey, it's all right, Roy. We're just teasing the animal a bit. We're bored out of our skulls. I can find some other way for you guys to keep busy, if you want. Shit, you defending the mutie or you just like pissing everybody off? Get the fuck out of <laughs> here. You're right. You're lucky there are guards around. We're not the Fatso's gang. We know how to fight. you have to sell. Casual Oh, good God, this could get so long. Hundred and eighty seven now. <laughs> Great. What are we going to do? Can we get it through? I guess it's the one this. Keep moving. Success is over again. I know that one of you attacked a guard. You know if he doesn't turn himself in, ten of your people will be executed. We are prepared to die if the sacrifice will improve the conditions of our people's lives. Ah. Tell me a little bit more about him. He is but one dust among many. He could no longer bear the abuse we receive, and he acted impulsively. But he acted as he saw just. It's incredible. He speaks really well for a dust. You're the one who hit the guard, huh? Why are you asking? Uh -huh. I only said it to see if it'd work, so? You're the one who hit the guard, <laughs> huh? Why are you asking? Just tell me the truth. You don't want to piss me off, <laughs> believe me. Do you really think so? I have nothing to lose. Oh, me? I 
knows how to fight. Alright then. Okay, come in. I'm the one you're looking for, man. Yes. So I suppose there is no longer a reason to hide the fact. What will you do with this knowledge, man? <laughs> you want a better life here? I want a better life somewhere else. I suggest we put aside our differences and work together. In what manner, man? I have a feeling it's only a matter of time before the situation becomes really explosive between the guards and the dust. Especially after your little outburst. The abuse we suffer is abominable. I acted through anger, and yet I believe it was truly just. I'm not judging you, so save your excuses. I'm just asking for a little time. Don't start anything until you get my signal. I'm preparing something as well, and our two plans will work a lot better if we're coordinated. <sighs> you yourself have raised a hand against the dust. What guarantee have we that you are not attempting to ensnare us? Test me. Uh -huh. So be it. We have need of cutting tools, man. Each workshop in this camp has a toolbox which it is forbidden to touch. Bring us two of these boxes. By helping us, you shall prove your good faith. Considered done. Deal. I'll bring you the tools and you keep cool until you get my signal. That is the agreement. Oh, Hey, we're getting somewhere. Great. Let's see if we're here. What do you want with me, man? Got your stuff. I held up my end of the deal. Here are your tools. Thank you, man. We will respect our agreement. You have aided our cause, and we will aid yours by waiting for your signal. Perfect. Continue to get ready. Won't be long. When everything on our side's in place, I'll let you know and you can start your riot. I would never have thought of helping organize a dust revolt. I mean, I didn't think they could feel things like wanting to revolt or injustice. Whatever you think of them, you gotta remember that even a dog can turn on its master. And the dusts are a lot closer to us. Yeah, I see that now. I never talked to one of them before. Now I feel kind you of ashamed, actually. Sick bastard, you. Right, go mobile. Right, level seven. So what are we, what are we wanting to do here? Uh, 
Shitload of knives stashed around this place. You don't try to confiscate them? Way too many for us to do anything about it. You can turn any tiny tube or spoon into a weapon in a few minutes. So, we just ignore them. And you get this straight. If your prisoners made trouble, our own toys would calm things down fast. For this, about the moles in the well. They've been there long? Where do the moles come from? You know, this camp used to be a water well. And those bugs can smell water from miles away. It draws them, and they go around the facilities for the humidity. And if we don't chase them away, they end up piercing the conduits. What this? See you later. Alright, how exactly are we gonna do this? Can we go anywhere? Speak to one of these guys. What exactly are we doing here? Come on, really? Keep moving. This this sounds like the people talking sound like folk out fable. He's talking. Okay. Okay, okay let's talk to this. Let's yes. See what Got a minute, sir? I have a few questions to ask you, if it's okay. Ah, <sighs> you know people in this camp? You know people in this camp? There's gotta be people I fought with, but I don't really see any familiar faces. Except maybe. Anyway, that would be really weird. What? That girl who just walked by in the blue dress. I get the feeling I've seen her somewhere. On the battlefield? She looks kinda young to have been at the front, even if it is possible. No, no, at Shadow Lair. It's dumb, I must be wrong, but, but she looks kind of different. True, weird, yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yeah, silly goose. What can I do for you, prisoner? We cleaned out the drilling well, and I'm kind of bored. Apparently, the guys who work at the cistern have it easy. You haven't been here long enough. Till now, only prisoners who've been here a long time get to work there. Jay over there is the guy who picks the team. One of the first guys here. Ah! Ah! I don't know what to do now. Right. Running back and forth in this game, I'm not happy. <laughs> Been running over the same fucking map for 50 minutes. <laughs> Probably is a bit better, actually. Um, let's take the Jake. Jake. Tell me, Jay. You know if there's a way to get to the cistern? The cistern, huh? You're thinking of something. You looking to stock up on water? Maybe the question's just rhetorical. Well, there you go. So I'll answer rhetorically, too. <laughs> if somebody who's not you wanted to enter the cistern, he'd need an official pass from the boss himself, or he'd get shot two yards from the entrance. Whoa. And if this person wanted to go there unofficially? Then there's only one way. Go across the mushroom field and have the balls to get through those fucking molds. <laughs> of course, to do that, he'd also need a key. The kind only the guards at the sentry post have, seeing the entrance has been closed after the infestation. So that person would have to find an understanding guard, like Bob, for example. Thanks for the tip. All purely theoretical, of course. All right. Gotta go. Thank See ya. Thank you very much. Let's just open this. Right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. It's been episode three, I'm pretty sure. And I'll catch you next time for episode four. Goodbye.